What's up everybody and welcome back to another gold making video. In this video we are talking about the loot that we received from 100 runs of Pit of Sauron and I laugh because I don't want to cry about the loot that we received. It was um I feel like I always go into that dungeon just to kind of prove to everybody that it is a dungeon worth going to if you have a tailor at least. Let's caveat that with you have a tailor you can receive the patterns that we uh, we've talked about it in our RFD video a little bit, and I can link to that above. But basically, there is a an achievement called Ton of Tops, this one right here, where you craft all of the different shirts to receive this achievement, right? And so um, we can see here, like, all of the Lumberjack and the Workman shirt patterns, they all drop out of Pit of Sauron. So theoretically... Pit of Sauron is a, <laughs> you know, highly sought after place for all of the patterns that you can receive out of there. And that's why we are questing for the rich purple silk shirt pattern, just because the price of it has skyrocketed recently. And so, again, I was like, this is the perfect time to go. People are, want these patterns. Um, prior to running my 100 runs of this, I had received, I think, two, two of the green lumberjack. Where is that? Green Lumberjack. Perfect. So I <laughs> I did not learn them. Uh, They're right here. I did not learn a pattern because I was like, oh, we got to post these to the auction house. So I received two of them. So I was like, all right, in my 100 runs, we're going to get something other than the Green Lumberjack and then we're going to have variety up on the auction house. All right. Well, <laughs> time for the big sad reveal. This is what we got. And you know what pattern we received? The Green Lumberjack. So, um... Yeah, that's where we're at with this dungeon. I Every single time that I did my 10 runs, I was like, we got to prove to the rest of the WoW community that Pit of Sauron is the place to be. And every 10 runs, it just let me down a little bit more. Uh, so <laughs> in the past, I've, I've always, you know, been a, a huge uh, fan of it just because of, you know, the fact that if you run it on Heroic, you can get the uh, battered hilt. And in fact, right before we did our 100 runs, I received a battered hilt. So we are up to, I think two, yeah, two on the auction house, two on my guild bank. So we just are rolling in battered hilts here. Uh, kind of ridiculous. I wasn't really looking for another, like I said, I was really just looking for the patterns. Um, I was interested with some of the other loot that I received though. So we got the pattern, of course. Uh, I feel like I've pointed out a titanium lockbox before. I think I asked about it and people were just like kind of ho-hum about it. But I still like, it's still a novelty to me to receive a blue lockbox. I received a couple of weapons. I'm not sure how well they're going to do. Um, but they did have kind of a high sell rate. Like this one here, the blackened blade did have a high sell rate. So I was surprised by it or as high as I would expect out of a not unique um, sword here, 0 0.012. We received this one here, 0 0.003. I think I just kept it because it was 9.8K. And at that point, I was getting a little bit desperate for anything that looked good. <laughs> I want to talk about this one, but let's save that until the end there. We received this damaged necklace. Um, I don't think I'd ever seen it before. Like maybe I had and just like hadn't really paid attention. I didn't realize that this was something that you could sell on the auction house. So it has a 0 0.059. So that really surprised me. It's 10K on my server, but the region market value is 4.7K. Um, so I'm going to try this. I've just, I've never sold one before, but I'm pretty sure it's going to sell nicely based off of that sell rate. Um, next up, we have this massive recurved bow. It's not unique, but it has a, uh, <laughs> what is that? 61K region market value 0 0.002. So that's going to take us a while to sell. Next up, I, again, at that point, I think I was just getting a little bit desperate for, I think we got, yeah, we got two of these here. The Skull Cage of Eternal Terror. Uh, we got two of them. They are only 800 region market value, but 0 0.025. So I think I was like, ah, oh, yeah, we'll we'll try them. We'll sell them. We'll see what, how that goes. The Bleak Scythe, I was excited to get. This is unique. It has a 0 0.006 sell rate, 15k region market value. Um, one of the only weapons I was really excited about. 
Next up is the Plagued Pike. It is not unique. It has a 10k region market value there. Not awful. The Arctic Warhammer. Oh my gosh. I think I just kept this because it was unique. It only has a 183 gold region market value. I think at that point I was just like, yeah, it's unique. It has a good sell rate. It was a really sad pit of Sauron time. Next up, we have this ring. Again, I don't really sell rings that often, but I've been watching a lot of Baby Powder's uh, 200 run series. And so he always talks about the rings that he successfully sells. And so I think that's why I, I kept the Twisted Puzzle Ring and also the Signet of Edward the Odd. I, they just have like really high sell rates for rings, you know? So I was like, all right, we'll test out Baby's theory there. Uh, finally, we have the Sleeted Longsword. In 0 .001, uh, again, just, it was a bad time. And then finally, we have this stocky shotgun, which region market value was 50k, but I don't even, like, there's no sell rate on it. I think this is just one of those, like, <laughs> it has so many appearances. I really don't think we're going to have success selling this. I think this is ultimately going to be a vendor item, which is disappointing, all right, and then finally, finally, the one that I wanted to talk about, just because I'm so iffy on, like, whether this is good or not, uh, we got this Brutal Ballista, and so it is kind of a unique item, you know? I really like the look of it. Um, the region market value for it is 432k. I really, please, if somebody in the comments has sold this before, or somebody watching has sold this before, um please let me know. It it seems way too good to be true, especially because there is the slingshot crossbow that it shares an appearance with. Um, 0 0.004 sell rate on it. I just, like I said, I was running the dungeon and this popped up like for my loot appraiser, just my alert. <laughs> and I was like, what? There's no way. Because you like, you can pretty easily tell like fake value rings from like a Draenor, for example, where they're like 100k or whatever. And you're like, there's no way absolutely no way that it would sell for that much but this one here I just I've never seen before so I don't have the experience with it um so let me know and then finally we got 7431 frost weave cloth so I will never need frost weave ever again basically um uh, yeah so really I am not impressed at all with the loot that I received uh, Pit of Sauron really let me down here. I To this day, I've never seen like half of the patterns that drop out of there. I've seen so many battered hilts and yet the patterns still continue to elude me. Um, but yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I hope if you do end up doing 100 runs of Pit of Sauron, you have much better luck than I do. I did go on my tailor, like I said, um, so I was expecting to see more patterns drop, but just our duplicate. <laughs> so anybody need a green lumberjack shirt pattern? I have three. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys.